seamless animated world on a flat surface. We'll choose Anim Brush Pickup and pick up an area equal to approximately half of the screen. We'll only pick up 36 frames, however. This is to avoid a hiccup. We'll clear all frames of our animation and choose B square from the prefs menu. We'll choose circle and make a circle to be filled with our anim brush. We'll copy this circle to all frames. And be sure we're using the anim brush. We'll bring up the fill type and choose wrap. To anim fill, hold down the alt key when you press the left mouse button. D-Paint steps through each frame, filling with the next animation brush frame. When finished, we can play this back to reveal a spinning world. We'll bring up the palette mixer so we can establish some colors for highlighting. We'll first set a spread of greens and then set a spread of blues. This will be used for the land and the ocean. Next, we'll bring up the range control panel. We'll begin by establishing the blues to be used in the ocean. These are arranged from light blue to dark blue, and then one final dark blue some distance away. Next we'll set up the land masses. We'll use the same technique. We'll bring up the fill type from the circle tool and select highlight. We'll drag an area out the size of our earth and press J so this is being drawn on the spare page. When we let go we see a green circle with a highlight. We'll pick up the circle as a brush and return to our animation. Choose stencil make and be sure it's clear. We choose the landmass color green and select invert then click make. We stamp our circle over our world and invoke the move requester. Set the count to 36 and draw. The highlight brush is now stamped on all 36 frames of our world. We'll do this again using range 3 which is the ocean color. Dragging out the circle, setting its highlight spot, picking it up as a brush, returning to the animation, then creating a stencil of just the ocean, stamping the brush down, invoking the move requester, and clicking draw. We now have a highlight of both landmass and the ocean. When we play the animation back, you can see how the three dimensionality is enhanced. We can add greater emphasis to this highlight by changing the color palette. Remember to change the blues and the greens. We will now pick up our brush as an anim brush, complete with highlight. We can now clear all frames. From the anim frames set number menu item, we'll set our frame count now to 72. Bring up the move requester. Set the ease out to 18 and the ease in to 18 and in the Z distance 150. 
when we preview the move, we see our brush move into the distance. We will now draw. As the world spins, it moves off into the distance. By setting the Z distance to negative, we can now have the brush come back into the foreground. If we play this, we can see the animation. We'll now pick up this entire work as an anim brush. However, be sure to enter all 72 cells. Once again, we can clear off our animation. We'll bring up the anim brush settings and set our current number to 54. This puts us about two-thirds into the animation. Bring up the ellipse tool spacing requester and set end total to 72, representing our 72 frames. When we drag out the ellipse, we can see that Deluxe Paint stamps 72 steps of our anim brush on our ellipse shape. When it's finished drawing, we can play this animation back and our planet looks as though it's not only spinning, but traveling in an orbit. We go to our spare page and select clear. We choose a variety of grays and blacks that we will use to create a star pattern. To create this star pattern, we'll select the airbrush tool with the right mouse button to make it large and choose cycle from the mode menu. We now draw with this airbrush and it scatters stars all over the screen. We'll return to our animation and from the picture menu choose spare, merge in back. Select all frames and the star field will be stamped behind all frames of the animation. When we play the animation back, it looks just like the Earth spinning in outer space. Well, I hope not. The Metamorph feature is probably one of the most intriguing effects that has been added to Deluxe Paint 4. In addition to creating distortions, you can also perform different dissolves and fades. In this example, we will be using low resolution ham. We'll first need our brushes to be morphed. We'll use the Cara Granite. We'll need two brushes to begin with, first being Meta and second being Morph. We'll pick up the word Meta as a brush and copy it to the spare brush. Next, we'll pick up the word morph. We can now metamorph between these two. For our example, we'll use 20 frames. This creates the most common distorted type of morph. We will want to compare each of our anim brushes so let's go to the spare page and establish an animation with 20 frames. We'll stamp it down and use the move requester to stamp the remaining 19 frames for us. When we play this back we can see it distort forward and backward. Next, we'll show how to do a dissolve. Dissolves and fades are created maintaining a consistent size between the two brushes, so we'll establish a basic size. We'll pick up the rectangle, which will represent our consistent size, and place it over the word morph. We'll also place it over the word meta.